common misconceptions in the DOS GIA guidelines. Project Proposal and Line Item Budget Preparation and Submission Myth number one. The implementing agency may wish not to provide counterpart funding. All projects must have a minimum of 15% counterpart contribution, in kind or in cash, except for projects involving public good. Myth number two. A foreign faculty member can be a program slash project leader. The program slash project leader must be a Filipino citizen, subject to applicable laws. Myth number three. Any faculty member or researcher can be a program slash project leader. The program slash project leader should be an organic member of the institution and not due to retire during the conduct of a program slash project. Myth number four. The program slash project leader should be a PhD graduate. Not necessarily. The eligibility shall be determined by the monitoring agency based on his slash her readiness in terms of technical, managerial, financial, and marketing capabilities, if necessary. Myth number five. There is no limit in the number of personnel to receive honoraria under the direct cost of the implementing agency. Yes subject to the evaluation and endorsement of the monitoring agency and approval of the funding agency. Myth number six. There's no limit in the number of personnel to receive honoraria under the indirect cost of the implementing and monitoring agencies. The maximum allowed number of personnel for the implementing agency under indirect cost is five and three for the monitoring agency. Myth number seven. The monitoring agency can have a program coordinator and project coordinator under the same program. The monitoring agency can only designate one program coordinator and the remaining project components should not have a project coordinator under the same program. Myth number eight. The implementing and monitoring agencies are entitled to 7.5% indirect cost each. Yes, except for non-R&D projects, wherein the maximum amount is 300,000 pesos unless allowed by the funding agency subject to the submission of substantiation as to increased costs based on scope, complexity, and geographic coverage. Myth number 9. Fabrication expenses of equipment is under MOOE. For purposes of booking and donation of equipment produced out of fabrication, the materials slash unit slash component may be classified under capital outlay, for example, one lot of interactive exhibits or one lot fabrication and installation of s &T exhibits, one lot retort module. Myth number 10. The funding agency shall facilitate the signing of MOA by the implementing agency. The funding agency will send the MOA to the monitoring agency for the signing of the council head. The monitoring agency shall in turn send the MOA to the implementing agency for signing of the head of the institution and the program slash project leader. The monitoring agency shall ensure the timely transmittal of the signed MOA to the funding agency to facilitate fund release based on the cash program. Non-submission on the specified period will affect the cash program schedule of the funding agency. Project Implementation Myth number 11. Purchased equipment under the DOS GIA program are booked slash lodged with the funding agency. For NGAs and SUCs, equipment are lodged on their books, while for NGOs slash POs, equipment will initially be booked under the account of the funding agency until such time it was donated slash transferred. A journal entry voucher will be required as proof. Myth number 12. Project personnel are not allowed to foreign travel. Program slash project personnel shall not be allowed to pursue any local slash foreign fellowship slash training grant nor travel abroad during the implementation of the project unless there is a written approval from the implementing agency. Myth number 13. The maximum allowed number of budget realignments is three. The limit of three times is per agency and per year of implementation, including approved extension if any. For the implementing agency, 
The limit of three is inclusive of the internal realignment approved by the head of the agency slash project leader and approved by the monitoring agency. The monitoring agency can realign their indirect cost up to three times. Minute number 14. Suspension and deferred implementation are the same. To differentiate suspension from deferred implementation in terms of project duration, automatic suspension is applicable if the implementing agency failed to renew Slash savings and income slash interest earned shall be reported and reverted to the funding agency within three months after the end of the project period, together with the terminal financial report. Myth number 20. Purchased equipment under the DOS GIA program cannot be shared with other ongoing programs slash projects. The equipment purchased under the DOS GIA program can be shared subject to mutually acceptable and convenient arrangement between concerned parties, approval by the funding agency, and conditions under Section 12-J, page 31 of the DOS GIA guidelines. Myth number 21. The funding agency cannot donate equipment to private institutions. The request for donation of equipment granted under the DOS GIA program can be made to private institutions per DOS Administrative Order Number 11 series of 2020. However, that said administrative order will cover projects completed after September 29, 2020 as the effectivity date. The donation of equipment can be made only if the implementing agency is cleared from technical and financial obligation to DOST.